Good. This is ridiculous. Right. So I have, uh, as always, more information. I have the new Jazz Trio disc here. Oh, cool. Jazz 88.3, the new Jazz thing. You're listening to the new Jazz thing. My name is Vince Alla. Coming up uh, this week in San Diego is uh, a unique event, and uh, to tell us all about Bone Fest 2 is a man who has been navigating the streets of uh, and highways of San Diego is drummer Matt Smith of the New Jazz Trio. You've uh, heard uh, Matt here on the New Jazz thing as we uh, debuted his uh, album and uh, chatted with him about his New Jazz Trio disc. Matt, uh, thanks for rushing down here to oh. Jazz 88 Central uh, for the New Jazz thing and uh, Bone Fest 2. It's great to be here, Vince. Thanks for having me on. It's such short notice. <laughs> well, well, you know, not short notice, but uh, just to be able to get here through traffic and it make was, it... It was uh, very exciting. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Well, that's kind of how we work here on the New Jazz thing is uh, exciting. Well, so um, uh, Bone Fest 2 is coming up uh, at Dizzy's. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, Bone Fest 2 was originally an idea put up to me by um, Scott Kyle and Kevin Esposito, uh, both of which have done the bone band thing, what I like to call it before. Um, and when I was, you know, five years ago was when we did the first one, so. And I got approached by, um, by Scott Kyle, and he said, would you like to, you know, be a part of this, this crazy party we're going to have? And I said, of course, you know. And um, that was five years ago. So ever, ever since then, it's always kind of been a bit, you know, a resonating with me. And that was like a very, very cool event to put on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, since I um, got back from school, it's been like a big, kind of big like, hey, like, why don't we do this again? And so I, it was more of who's going to send the emails to everyone and get everyone to do it. So, right. so, uh -huh. um, so uh, name the ten trombonists that you've uh, got playing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get your pencil ready. Here we okay, go. Here we go. Uh, the uh, featuring the tenor trombones of Scott Kyle, Kevin Esposito, Matt Hall, Jordan Moroda, Patrick Escalante, Eric Dewhurst, and Matt Rogers, uh, Roy Brown, and Roger Wright. It's uh, all ten of them. And then uh, you have just not only tenor bones, but uh, bass bones, too. Yeah, we have eight tenors and uh, two bass trombones, and uh, that's all with the rhythm section of uh, Jason Chatiel on piano, Oaks, and Trevor Mulvey on bass, and myself on drums. Excellent. So um, this is, as you said, uh, this is like the fifth year anniversary. How many times has this uh, bone fest been put on? Well, this as, as this far says, as I, this as far is as two, I know, so. this is number two for me. So that's why I called it Bone Fest Two. I'm, I'm assuming there's a couple other ones that have been put on, um, but this is definitely the second one in the past, you know, decade. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. So then, um, with that many trombones, um, are there canned arrangements for tin trombones? Um, tell tell us a little bit about how you put together the repertoire for tin trombones. Uh, believe it or not, there's a there's a group um, dating way back to you know the um, to the old days. Um, called Tutti Camerata that played a lot of, um, it was a bunch of L.A. studio players that got together and played these up to ten bone arrangements, mm -hmm. um, of which we're so gracious to have uh, Roger Wright in the group who has a, all, all these parts already out. And um, it was actually uh, during the fires he said, would you like me to mail you these? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, mail me all these charts because I wanted to look at them and make sure they were all cool. And on the side note he said, you know, um, as long as I can get to the post office, because he, you know, he was out there by the, uh, by the San Bernard, or the, the, the fires out there. So mm -hmm. it was uh, quite the thing. But we have all these, uh, at least four ten bone charts that we're gonna be uh, playing that night, mm -hmm. as well as um, solo, uh, solo and duet, and then you know small group stuff to do with the combo as well to feature, you know, every individual trombone player in here, and whoever wants to solo, you know. <laughs> so um, tell folks again where it's at and uh, the date, uh, how much it costs, when it starts, those kind of specifics. All right. Well, it's this Friday, June 6th at Dizzy's. And uh, I believe the, the cover will be $15 for uh, adults, $10 for students. And we're going to start at 8 p.m. sharp because we've got a lot of material to go through and uh, not too much time. So, so um, you've got this material all put together. Um, as, a, as the rhythm section of this, uh, um, have you guys uh, 
do you guys uh, come together and uh, and practice this? Or? Yeah, we're we're gonna have a big rehearsal on Thursday, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much the big the big powwow, the trombone powwow that's gonna happen is we're gonna you know we'll decide the set you know that day, and um, it's as you know as hard as it is, it's 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 so tough to get you know thirteen people together still you know mm -hmm. so so you've done this um, have your uh, bandmates in the uh, the trio the rhythm section uh, done something like this I don't think so every, every, every <laughs> rhythm section player I called said ten trombones are you kidding me and, <laughs> and I it didn't seem too odd to me because I, I play trombone too so hopefully that might be a little special thing mm -hmm. that if, we show up, might, I might get to play a little trombone too. So, um, is there a challenge in trying to uh, put all of these uh, musicians on one stage to uh, trade or Absol to. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> if it's with the, with the ten bone charts, I think are going to be easier than the small, the small group charts because mm -hmm. the ten bones are all, they're all through composed, they're all ready to go. And uh, as long as you can read and read well, you can. You can get those charts done. Excellent. So, um, Matt, let's talk just a little bit then about uh, about your own uh, music. Um, we've got uh, uh, last year we uh, had the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio disc here in uh, the library and added it and chatted with you about that. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, where the New Jazz Trio is and and your own music. Oh, the New Jazz Trio is doing really well. We have a um, a jam session we actually host every Sunday. And that's at 98 Bottles downtown, mm -hmm. um, off Kettner Street, mm -hmm. and that's from two to five. So as far as the trio goes, we're we're getting a lot of work, and it's it's getting a lot of a lot of fun, you know, to have a, have a you know a weekly thing going on where you can you know play from with different people from time to time, but also build up the group that you want in a way that you can um, that's different than you know having a weekly rehearsal because you have you know players that come out from all over town, and sometimes you know I I feel that's how groups get started, you know, with with the trio in mind, that's kind of how I met everyone as I was going out to um, Gilbert Castellanos' Wednesday night jam session. I met everyone there. Mm -hmm. um, and I met, you know, I met Ed Kornhauser there, who then introduced me to um, Mac Layton, who's the bassist on that album. So it's, it's a whole uh, small but very enthusiastic and strong circle in, in the San Diego jazz community, as far as I can, I'm concerned. Excellent. And then uh, plans uh, for the future uh, beyond the jam session? Uh, what do you got going on? Well, we're gonna we're gonna try to go back in the studio this summer. Um, I'd like to do a you know a release every you know two or three years. I'd hope, but this one's gonna be a bit more more fast paced, and I think a little bit on the um, singer side actually. So that's that's about all I can give away though. Excellent, good. So we're gonna add some vocals to uh, the, so. the trio. Excellent, that sounds fantastic. So uh, Matt, I've got your uh, 2013 disc out here, and. Uh, you know, I had just kind of queued it up, so uh, any tune in particular that you'd like to hear? Are we going to be uh, featuring any of these uh, at the date? Uh, uh, none, none of that, none of that. But, All right. But um, let's, let's play your favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> or the, the station's favorite. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, let's play then. Um, I like, uh, in particular, I like Sissy Strut. So uh, let's cue that up, and then uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about your work on this tune. Uh, Sissy Strut is originally a song by the Meters. Mm -hmm. um, everyone knows it as a very um, bluesy song, but I uh, took the chords and reharmonized them and kept the melody the same, but changed the vibe up a little bit as you know a lot of arrangements kind of come about. So it was uh, a song I actually got to be uh, playing in my dad's group, in the, his group called the Jack Straws. Mm. So. Uh, which also are going to be performing at the fair every day this summer, um, from opening to about lunch. Every day we're playing surf music and blues and rock and roll and stuff. Excellent, fantastic. <laughs> um, so uh, Matt, where can folks find out more about you uh, and your music? Um, you, what you can do is you can check us out um, on iTunes, uh, the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio. That's all um, one word. Um, we're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Matt Smith New Jazz Trio. Um, and uh, if you follow us there, we'll be posting all the, all the events, of, which is, you know, Bone Fest and, um, oh gosh, and we have another, another one that we're having for next week, the uh, John Rowden interview for next right, week. Right, right. We're going to be playing with the John Rowden group on June 13th. Um, at the back room, 98 bottles. And that's going to be a very, very fun show. So. Fantastic. Of and which this music will be performing. <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a link to the uh, Facebook event for Bonefest 2 um, out on the jazz88.org blog for tonight's show. 
So, uh, Matt, thanks for uh, rushing down here. <laughs> thanks for having and, me. Uh, and making it and uh, being on the new jazz thing. And uh, can, uh, good luck with Bonefest, too. Thank you so much. From uh, Matt Smith, New Jazz Trio, the disc shorthanded from 2013. This is Sissy Strut. It's all about the new on the new jazz thing, Jazz 88.3.